There are 13 European sides playing in the 2022 World Cup, but how many of them will qualify for the knockout stages? Now in Group A, we've got Senegal, Netherlands, Qatar, and Ecuador. Now Netherlands look like the clear favorite in this group. Obviously Senegal are AFCON winners, Koulibaly, Mane, Adrissa Gay, all of those boys are gonna come there and try and top this group, which they probably could. I think they will draw to Netherlands. So Netherlands, I don't think are gonna have a clean sweep out of this group. Then we've got the host nation, Qatar. The host nation is always dangerous. The only host nation to ever fall out of a World Cup in the group stages was in 2010, being South Africa. And then we've got Ecuador, the feisty South Americans, who will always put up a good fight. However, I do think Netherlands will be the first European team to make it into the knockout stages. Guys, just a reminder that I am doing a giveaway. If we hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I'll be giving one of you a PS5. We're so close to 20,000 subscribers, which is where I give one of you guys your choice of an EPL shirt. So make sure you're subscribed and let's get back to the video. Then in group B, we've got England, Iran, USA and Wales. Now, obviously England and Wales being the European sides, in this group. England had a terrible UEFA Nations League. They're looking all over the place at the moment, but I do believe they will tighten their nuts and bolts and be ready for this World Cup. Now, Iran, on the other hand, do have a very, very potent attack. I'm just a little bit worried about their midfield and their defensive structure. I just don't think they're gonna be able to keep the likes of a bail out. USA are also looking very, very dangerous. They did finish third in the CONCACAF, and USA will be wanting to push for that second spot in this group then of course we have wales gareth bale's first and last world cup they had that dramatic win over ukraine to qualify for the world cup but can wales qualify for the knockout stages for me i think england will top this pool and qualify i think they will sort all their nonsense out and make it into the knockout stages then that second spot for me is between either one of the three teams iran usa and wales but i think this is my quote unquote upset for the tournament, one of my upsets, and I'm gonna choose USA to finish second, so Wales are not making it into the knockout stages for me. In Group C, we've got Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. Obviously, Poland being the only European team in this pool, I think they're gonna find it very, very difficult to qualify here. I'm not saying they can't. I do think they have the best chance of making it into that second spot in that qualification spot. Obviously, I think Argentina are gonna finish first. I think they have way too much quality. This could be Messi's year to win the World Cup. And then you've got Mexico, who are notorious for making it out of the group stage and then falling out in the round of 16. So they are gonna put up a good fight in this group, wanting to claim that second spot. I don't think Saudi Arabia have much of a chance to make it to the knockout stages. So that leads the decision between Poland and Mexico who I think is going to make it into the knockout stages and I think Poland what they've shown in the Nations League Lewandowski is obviously going to play a major role in that team and I think if Lewandowski has a good group stage in the tournament there's no reason why Poland can't make it so for me Poland will be making it through to the knockout stages now group D is one of the more interesting groups in the World Cup we've got France Denmark Tunisia and Australia. Now off the bat, I don't think Australia have any chance of making it into the knockout stages. Yes, they did qualify by beating Peru on penalties, but I just don't think they have the quality to come up against the likes of a Tunisia, France or Denmark. Off the bat, I think Denmark is gonna top this pool. We saw what they did in the UEFA Nations League. They beat France in the Nations League, so why can't they beat them in this group? Then we've got Tunisia, one of the African giants who had a decent AFCON knocking Nigeria out in the round of 16 and making it to the quarterfinals. They're also coming off some good wins of late, like beating Japan 3-0. So Tunisia are quality side from Africa and could be pushing for that qualification spot ahead of France. Now, France, I spoke about them in my video yesterday. If you haven't watched that, go check it out. But they are coming into this tournament with the champion's curse placed upon them. They won in 2018. And as we know, the cost of winning the World Cup in recent years is falling out in the group stages in the next edition of the World Cup. Obviously, France have an absolutely stacked side, Benzema, Mbappe, Pogba, Griezmann, just to name a few. But I do think they will struggle to qualify here. So again, this is one of my upsets. I do not think France is gonna qualify out of the group stages. And if they do, I think they'll win the World Cup, but I don't, just don't think they're gonna qualify ahead of Tunisia and that Champions Curse will play a role. In Group E, we see Spain, Germany, Japan, and Costa Rica. Now, I think this is one of the more clear-cut 
pools for me. Japan have been playing okay footy. Obviously, they just lost to Tunisia 3-0. And you can't be losing to Tunisia if you want to take on the likes of Spain and Germany. Household names in the World Cup. Costa Rica might be one of those underlying teams. Maybe there's an upset here for Costa Rica in this group. And then we've got Spain and Germany. Germany being the 2014 winners, Spain being the 2010 World Cup winners. I just think there's way too much quality in the likes of Spain and Germany for both of them not to qualify here. So for me, Spain and Germany are making it through to the knockout stages. Now, Group F is also an interesting group. We see the likes of Morocco, Belgium, Croatia, and Canada. Now, starting off with Canada, I think they're one of the dark horses in the tournament. They won their CONCACAF ahead of Mexico and the USA, so don't sleep on Mexico. Then we've got Morocco, another giant in the world of African football. I do think they could make some waves, but this is just such a tough group for them. Then we've got Belgium. We saw them get off to a little bit of a slow start in the UEFA Nations League, getting beaten 4-1 by Netherlands, but eventually finding their footing and beating Poland 6-1. That was the highlight for them there. Then we've got Croatia. We've also been playing some outstanding football in the Nations League, drawing to France, beating Denmark, so don't sleep on Croatia. Yes, they came second in the 2018 edition, so they'll be wanting to improve on that this year. So how do I see this panning out? I do think Belgium and Croatia will come first and second. I'm not sure which way around it'll be, but I do think both of them will qualify for the knockout stages. Then Group G, we see Cameroon, Serbia, Brazil, and Switzerland. Now off the bat, I have to put Brazil in that number one position. Obviously, Serbia and Switzerland being the European teams in this group. So Brazil first, I don't think Cameroon has any chance of even making it out of that fourth position in this group, which leaves Serbia and Switzerland to qualify. Now, both of these teams are having decent UEFA Nation League runs at the moment. I have picked Serbia as one of my dark horses for the tournament with we've seen the form that Alexander Mitrovic has been in they obviously have Dusan they just beasts in the front there for Serbia now Switzerland we know that they knocked out France in the 2020 Euros in the round of 16 so Switzerland can also play some ball however I just think that Serbia are going to edge Switzerland and take that second position in this group so for me Serbia are going to qualify and Switzerland are going to fall out and not make it in to the knockout stages then lastly group H probably the most interesting group for me in the World Cup we see Portugal Uruguay Ghana and South Korea now the only European team in this group is Portugal and Portugal are favorites to top this pool however I don't think it's going to be as simple as that we know South Korea has Son if he pitches up they can be an upset on the cards for South Korea they can throw the cat amongst the pigeons a little bit in this group then we have Ghana and Uruguay we know the history from the 2010 World Cup between Ghana and Uruguay now we know that Uruguay is a solid team at the moment with Darwin Nunez Suarez and Cavani we also know that Ghana have been doing some serious recruiting before this World Cup bringing players like Inaki Williams Tariq Lamptey Patrick Pfeiffer and a couple other Ghanaians that have been playing over in Europe so I think Ghana, Uruguay, or South Korea could upset Portugal here, even if it's a draw. If Portugal draw too many games, they might fall out of this group. However, I just don't think that's going to happen. Portugal are a quality side. They're having a good run in the UEFA Nations League, and I do think they are going to qualify for the knockout stages.